So we'll start sitting in a cross-legged position. And I always like to pull the flesh of my buttocks back behind the sit bones and feel the sit bones connecting more solidly and also tilts the pelvis forward a little bit, which makes sitting upright easier. And we'll take a breath in and pull the shoulders up and lift the spine up and reach the head up. And then exhale and just release the shoulders down. Maybe close the eyes. Feel the belly relaxing. Feel the floor of the belly releasing down, almost like there's a chute there that you can just open. And notice the breath. Notice places in your body that may be holding tension. Often there's a relationship between those places and breath. They're kind of like the rocks in a stream that the water goes around. The breath doesn't really move flow through the areas that are stuck. So we can try to breathe deeper, penetrating those areas helping them to soften. Much like the force of water breaking up the solidity of rock, eventually turning it to sand. No obstruction. And then I thought we'd begin today with some breath of fire. So if you're able to lift the arms up, index thumbs are, are extended and the rest of the hand is in a fist. And the arms will be out kind of like a capital Y. And for breath of fire, I find it's helpful to focus on the exhale more than the inhale. It's an even breath in, out, in, out. And on the exhale, the belly is snapping in. And that motion is kind of propelling the breath out like in a staccato. And Again, if you focus on the exhale, the inhale pretty much will just happen automatically. So if you haven't already started, maybe we can start with an inhale and then just begin. And you want to go as rapid as you can.
And then inhale deep, bring the thumbs together, hold the breath, pull up from the base of the spine, lifting up the perineum, pull up with the navel, press the tongue to the roof of your mouth and roll your eyes up. When you need to exhale, just release the hands down. Notice the sensations in the body, the energy, the aliveness. And we'll do another rapid breath. Different arms will move this time with the breath. So start with your hands in gentle fists at the shoulders. And then we're gonna inhale through the nose, reaching the arms up and straightening the fingers and then exhale and come back down. And again, Go as fast as you can. It's gonna be a forceful breath as well, but don't go so fast that you lose the coordination between the hands and the breath. So you may need to breathe slower than you could if you were breathing on your own. Inhaling up, exhaling down. If it helps to start slow and get the coordination and then pick up the pace, you can do that. This breathing is a little bit different in that I feel like the inhale is not so passive like in the breath of fire. It's more of just a rapid breath. Inhale deep, bring the fists together, hold the breath. Again, squeeze and lift from the bottom all the way to the top, eyes up, tongue up, pulling up everything, holding the breath as long as you possibly can. And then whenever you absolutely have to exhale, you just relax everything not just the hands, but all the clenching. Feeling the belly open again. And then drop the chin to the chest. And bring it back up to neutral. And we'll come over onto hands and knees. We'll start in a table position with the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips and then we're gonna come into a sunbird. So the spine moves like cat and cow, but um, we also move the legs. So let's start with the right leg and take the leg up and the eyes up. And then on the exhale, pull the knee to the forehead, the forehead to the knee, rounding the back, lifting the belly. 
Lifting the leg, lifting the gaze. And the next time the knee comes in, hold it there, curl the left toes under, and take the left knee off the ground. And then really try to pull that right knee toward the face. Back leg is straight. Breath is slow, long, and deep. And then push into the hand, sending the left heel down and lift the right leg up, flex the right foot, sink the left foot, drop the head and chest. Try to move your hips back over your left heel. Good, and then bring the left knee down, keep the right leg lifted, relax the back toes, take the gaze to the ground, and then lift the left arm. Keep your gaze straight down at the ground, not in front of you, so that you're not lifting your head. Pull your belly up toward your back, supporting your back with your abdominal muscles. And then reach the left hand back, taking the right foot. And then kick the foot back to pull that left shoulder open. And then kick it up and look up. And feel breath. Good, release the left hand down, round and pull the knee in. And then once again, take the left knee off the ground. And release down. And we'll do the other side. Starting with the sunbird. Inhale, the leg up, the spine curves, the eyes come up. Exhale, round, pull the knee toward the forehead, lift the belly, bring all the air out. And then hold the knee in, curl the right toes under, lift the right knee off the ground. Try to maintain a sense of calm, using the slowness of your breath. And then push into your hands, 
Sending your right heel down and lift your left leg up, flex that foot. And try to lift the leg as high as you can without rolling the hip open, keeping both hips level. But imagine a string is attached to the heel and just lifting. Push forward into the hands, sending that right hip back as if you're trying to line it up over the heel. Good, and then bring the right knee down. Keep the left leg extended. The gaze straight down, right arm lifts. How slow can your breath be? Dragging it through the back of the throat. Beautiful, bend your back leg. Right hand finds the left foot. And then start by pushing the foot back, rolling that right shoulder back, and then kick it up, looking up. Feeling the space that breathes and maybe doing what you can to help more space breathe. And then release, round the back again, pull the knee toward the forehead, curl the right toes under, lift the knee. And then push back and bring the left foot down so that the feet are hip width apart, the hands are shoulder width apart, the fingers are spread. Good. And press forward into the hands, pushing the chest toward the thighs. And then we'll take the left hand and bring it to the outer lower right leg. If you can reach by the ankle, go ahead. Maybe the shin, maybe just the thigh. See where you want to land. And then look under your right arm. Pull with your left hand, taking the ribs into a twist. Keep the left heel pressing down and back. And then release the left hand. And we'll do the other side. So as the right heel comes down, you might notice that the left heel comes up a little bit. That's okay. And that left hand is really helping to push that right hand down. We're looking under the left arm. And you're pulling a little bit with the right hand to turn the ribs into a twist. And then return the hand. Inhale the right leg up, look forward. Exhale, step the foot up between the hands. Good. Now drop the hips. And maybe bend the back knee a bit so that you can drop the hips even more.
And then start to straighten the back knee, pushing back through the heel. And then bring the hands up onto the right leg. Bring the hips forward, press the back heel down. And then bring the left arm up. Pushing down into the right hand to lengthen up through the spine while also sinking down with the hips. Lifting tall through the hand. Good. Now, lean it over to the right, taking your gaze down and to the left. Press back through the heel. Breathe slowly. Good. And then straighten the body and lower that left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Bring the palms together and then place them as close to the center of your chest as you can. Looking behind you, press back through the left heel, take a deep breath, and lift the collarbones. Exhale, press elbow into leg, turn your chest, maybe moving the hands more toward the center. Slow, expanding inhales. Releasing exhales. And then come back to center without touching the hands down. And then bring the hands down. Good. Now step the back foot forward a little bit. And straighten the front leg. Pull your right hip back. Lift your gaze. Inhale, draw your belly back. Exhale, fold forward. Keep shifting your weight back toward your back foot and bringing that right hip back. Pyramid pose. Okay, we'll take it into a revolved triangle. So your left hand might stay where it is. And some of you will be able to move it closer to the foot or maybe on top of the foot, or maybe all the way to the other side of that right foot. See where you are. Start by bringing the right hand onto the right hip and try your best to straighten your body and make it parallel to the ground. And press that right hip back and move your head forward so your spine is nice and long. Good. And then we start to twist, bringing the right shoulder back and the left ribs under, taking the gaze up, and then just floating the right hand up. So you don't want to feel like the right hand is straining to lift. If you have your left ribs under you enough, and your shoulders are almost stacked with the right on top of the left, then that arm should be able to lift straight into the air. Maybe drawing the navel in to help the twist. Good, and release down. planting the hands shoulder-width apart, 
so that the right hand is two o'clock from the foot. And then we're gonna just shift the weight forward into that right hand as we lift the left leg. And then we take weight between the right hand and the right foot and lift the left arm as we roll the body open to the left. If you're able, gaze up at your left thumb. Stay connected to your breath. Good. And then bring the hand down. Bring the leg down to the back. Step your right foot back. Take downward facing dog. If you need to rest, take child's pose. If you're in child's pose, join us when you can in downward dog. And then inhale, lift the left leg up, look forward. Exhale, step the foot up between the hands. And sink the hips down, maybe bending the back knee so that you can really drop your hips. And then keeping the hips down, Start to straighten your leg, pushing back through the heel. Good, and then the hands will come up onto that left knee. Pressing down to get the spine to lift tall. And then the right arm comes up. And then take it over to the left. Gazing down and to the right. Pressing back through the right heel. Breathing into it. Sinking into it. And then on an inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring the elbow across to the outside of the thigh. Bring the palms together. Take a breath in, lengthening the torso. Exhale, press the left hand into the right, moving the hands toward the heart center, looking behind you. Pressing back through the right heel. Hands come center and then down and then step your back foot a little bit forward till both heels can be on the ground. Inhale, straighten your spine. Exhale, lift your belly and fold. Release your head, relax your body. Okay, and we'll take it into the revolved triangle. So start by trying to make your spine parallel to the ground. You pull your left hip back, 
plant your right hand wherever you want for the maximum challenge. And bring your left hand to your hip. And get long by extending the hip back and the chest forward. And then start to roll the left shoulder open, the gaze up, and then just float the left arm up. Pull the belly up to the left. Keep the breath full and then empty. And then bring the hand down so that that left hand is 10 o'clock of the left foot. And then shift weight forward so that it comes into the hand and the foot as you lift the right leg, roll the belly open to the right. Take the right arm up. And if you have the balance to do so, take the gaze up to the thumb. Activate your back leg. Activate your breath. And release the hand down, set the right foot beside the left foot. And we'll just rest, bending the knees and letting the chest come down toward the thighs like a standing child's pose. You can even have the arms like child's pose with the palms facing up, resting on the ground. Feel breath coming into your back body as your front body connects with your legs. And if you can, just lift your heels and tuck your palms under your feet and then pull yourself down a little closer. Release the hands out, roll yourself up, chin to chest, reaching the arms up, clasp the hands, bring them behind the back of the head, and then inhale, and lift your gaze, Reach your elbows out to the side. Lift your chest. Hold there and breathe. Reaching out through the elbows. Sending your head back even more. Good. And then lift the head, drop the chin, drop the elbows.
and lift the head, press the arms up, inhale long, and then exhale the hands down, the eyes closed, shoulders relax, belly soft, the breath deep and slow. And then let your weight start to shift over into your left foot, feeling the left leg penetrating down into the ground like roots of a tree, lifting tall through the crown of the head, feeling the rhythm of your breath, breathing intentionally, slowly, deeply, Letting the eyes open. Then we'll slowly lift the right foot. And if you can, bring both hands around the bottom of the foot. If not, bring the hands under the back of the thigh. We're gonna to try to straighten that right leg. And if you feel balanced and you want more of a challenge, then you take your gaze down and you start to try to fold forward over your straight leg. One breath at a time, moving slowly. And then release the leg, bring the foot down. Close the eyes, stand tall, breathe deep. Start to shift weight into the right foot. Feel the leg sinking down. Not just the foot, the whole leg. Maintain connection to the breath as you gently open the eyes to find a spot to fix your gaze on. And then we'll slowly lift the left foot and you'll either bring the hands under the back of the thigh and straighten the leg that way or under or to the foot and straight. And again, you can stay here or you can drop your gaze and start to try to fold very slowly, small movements. And release, nice, just stand, eyes closed, feeling the body, feeling the breath, feeling the feet. And then let's just shake the body out. Sometimes a lot of tension builds up when we do balancing poses. Just let it go, <sighs> breathing out of the mouth maybe, 
shaking the hands, shaking the whole body, bouncing. <sighs> Good, and then come to stillness, closing the eyes, noticing what the shaking created. And then take a giant step back with the right leg and rotate your belly to the right. So we've already done the revolve triangle. We'll do the regular triangle. Have your feet balanced between the right and the left sides equally and take the arms out. Really rotate your belly so that it's facing right. And then take a breath in and reach out through the hands. And then exhale and take that left arm all the way forward, reaching not down, but forward, forward, forward. Feel the right hip pulling back away from the left arm. And then bring the left hand down and the right arm up. And the body stays rolled open toward the right. So if there were a laser coming out of your navel, it would hit the nearest wall. It would never, even if it went 100 miles, it would never hit the ground because it's not at all tilted down. It's completely parallel to the ground because your belly is rolled completely open to the side. And then as you inhale, reach the right arm up. And as you exhale, drop the right ribs down and let the hand release down the leg. Gazing up at your right thumb, press into both feet and bring your tailbone under you. Lengthen the spine. Feel the collarbones and the hips moving away from each other as you inhale. And the right ribs sinking as you exhale. And then come up. Bend your front knee, step the back foot forward, and the left foot back. And turn your belly to face left. So your back heel is at an angle, by the way. And the arms are out to the side, take a breath in. And then exhale and reach forward through the right arm, back through the left hip, get long, and then come down. Bring the left arm straight up. Take the gaze up to the thumb. Push into the feet to inhale and get longer through the spine. Exhale, drop the left ribs toward the right ribs. Good, and come up and release down. Step the back foot forward. Bring the arms forward, bend the knees. Keep the heels on the ground at first and then aim the knees toward the front edge of your mat. Deep stretch in the calf. Now drop the tailbone, lowering the hips. Keep the knees pointing down. And then lift the heels. 
Pull the belly in, dropping the tailbone under. Steady the mind, calm the body, breathe slow. Slowly lower the hips down. Bring the hands down. Good. And then spread the fingers wide. Uh, with the backs of the elbows against the insides of the thighs. We're gonna lift the hips and shift weight forward till the elbows line up over the wrists and the feet come off the ground. So you don't want the elbows out to the side. You wanna keep them as wide as the hands, which are as wide as the shoulders. And you want to keep leaning forward until the elbows come over the wrists. Good. Maybe just another moment. And come down and tuck the hands under, palms up, fingers pointing toward toes, just stretching the wrists. Good, and then bring the hands behind you, lower the buttocks down. And then the palms will be under the shoulders with the fingers pointing toward the feet. And then we wanna feel like we're rotating the hands away from each other, spiraling the left one left and the right one right so that the shoulder blades are brought in and the chest is brought out. And I'll give you a few options here. The first one is to leave the feet hip width apart with the knees bent, and then to lift the hips into an upward table. Um, harder option is to straighten the legs and then lift the hips and drop the head back. And then you can either do slow deep breathing or breath of fire. Keep the hips lifted. And lower the buttocks down. Inhale deep. Lift the arms up, touch the finger, the thumbs to each other. Hold the breath, hold the breath, hold the breath. Squeeze in and up from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Exhale, release down. And then bring the arms forward onto the chest or up as we tuck the chin and roll slowly down.
Once you come down, bend the knees, lift the hips, tuck the tailbone under, and then release the legs and shake them out. If you're practicing with an eye pillow, you can place that on your eyes. And then we'll all let the hands rest a comfortable distance away from the body. With the palms up. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, sinking the weight of the body into the earth. Inhale deep. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the jaw, the lips part slightly. And then inhale deep. Exhale out of the mouth, let go of the activity of the mind. And then let go of the breath so that there's no effort to breathe, no control of the breath. Just allow the breath to happen. And rest your attention in the feel of the breath wherever you notice it in your body. Just Plant your awareness there. Steady, connected, curious. Find a way to become interested in the breath so that the mind will stay. And if the mind wanders, that's fine too. Just bring it back again and again each time, turning to breath. Deeply relaxed. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Go.
Take a deep breath, breathing into your heart. Moving the fingers and toes. Reach the arms overhead. Take a deep breath, stretch long. Hug the knees to the chest and rock gently side to side. Massaging your back with the ground. Come center, open the knees wide, soles of the feet together, palms together, rub hand to hand and foot to foot. And then roll over onto either side, resting your head on your underside arm, resting your body on the ground, feeling the support, feeling held. Noticing how it feels to be here now. What are the gifts of your practice? Maybe appreciating yourself for giving yourself those gifts. And when you're ready, coming up slowly to sitting, your head coming up last. Sit bones firmly on the ground, head reaching to the sky. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, the hands together at the heart. Inhale, the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Chin to the chest. Namaste. Thank you for your practice.